live on a zip trip to Duncan. Duncan continues and we have the honor of being joined by members of the Burns Rebel Regiment Band, our band director here, Mr. Chris Moss. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Tell me a little bit about your band. It's a huge band, a world-renowned, awarded band. What are you guys up to this summer? How's it going? We're just continuing the tradition. that We have the best students in the entire world. They show up every day. They work hard. Mr. Padgett and I, my assistant, we have the honor of working with these kids. Right. We've got great things planned this year. We've got competitions we're going to. We get. We were already talking to the town of Duncan about the parade we're going to do on the second. We've got great things going on. We're hosting a band competition. That's a big one. Here in Duncan yes. on September the 30th. Going to have 40 bands from across the state Absolutely here. World-class judging. Come in, see us, and support these great students and see their show, which is called Club 23. Club 23, Club okay. Club 23, come check it out and see what these amazing students do. And I, and I think what's impressive about the band is you guys, you walk into that band room and they're just awards of state championships, state championships, and that comes from an attitude of commitment. How do you get the kids started with that? When does that start with students? Well, I think it's better a representation of this community. We have great towns and great families and great students. And since I was in the band <laughs> in the 90s and going to places like Macy's, the band going to Grand Nationals, these students represent South Carolina, the upstate, yeah. right here in Duncan, and that's where it comes from. Yeah. So then we bring in great teachers like the wonderful staff from Jared Mabry, Tom, all the way down to our middle school. And then we have great support from our school district, right. a wonderful superintendent, our prin principal Aaron Greenway, the best in the world. So then <laughs> it's just fun working with these students, and we go show them off around the world. And they do a fantastic job. How many students are we talking in the band this year? So this year we've got 200 in our competition band. Wow. We start our football band on Monday. That's the group that's okay. on Friday nights. Okay. We're going to be up over 300 students, so we've got a ton of great work in students. Yeah, and, and I, I've given, driven through Doug in the last couple of weeks, and I've seen some fields occupied by band members. When did this start? When did summer start? Our garden percussion moved in last week. They started learning how to do the things, right? right, right. And then our, our competition wins moved in this week. And we say move in because we're there <laughs> all the time, right? And then our football teams, our football band starts next week. So it's about two weeks now of band camp. We're working out here in the sun. Yes. But we're learning the show and we're excited to perform. Taking those breaks in the middle of the day. One thing, one thing I really wanted to touch on quickly is the boosters. How important are the boosters for you guys? Well, we get, want to get involved. we get incredible support from our school district, but then our parents come in and support us even more. So next week we've got a fundraiser through a thing called Money Dolly where our students all have the ability to invite friends to support us through an app. Okay. Okay. We've also got other fundraisers throughout the year, including our band competition. Right. So basically find a band student, you know, there are a couple thousand of them, <laughs> and just see what you can do to support. Fantastic. Great idea. Great program. You guys have done some fantastic work. Looking forward to another great year from you guys. Okay. I know there's no pressure with that. <laughs>